Earlier this year, Lightwater Valley made the pretty controversial decision of removing most of the thrill rides in the park. With several empty plots of land now left dotted around the theme park, I'll be talking all about what I think could replace these rides in today's video, along with what the recent changes mean for the future of the theme park more broadly. The rides that were announced to be getting removed are the Raptor Attack Indoor Roller Coaster, which we know for certain is going because it's actually now been sold to a theme park in America, the Apollo Starflyer Ride, the Wild River Rapids, the Black Pearl and the Eagle's Claw. Interestingly though, the Eagle's Claw has actually reopened for this season, so it looks like they've changed their minds on that one, well fingers crossed at least. Europe's longest roller coaster, the Ultimate, is set to be standing but not operating for the second season in a row and to be honest its future looks incredibly uncertain right now. I don't want the ultimate to be removed and I think keeping it at the park will be by far the best move for them. Even though it might be pretty rough, it's just an absolute classic that's very well known across coaster fans worldwide, but more importantly for them, it's very well known and recognisable with the general public too. From a few people now when talking about roller coasters, the Ultimate seems to get mentioned nearly as much as the big one. I'd reopen this ride in a heartbeat, and if they're concerned about how rough it is, which, I mean fair enough, it does batter you around a bit, maybe they could get someone like Vekoma in, who could try and adapt their mind train cars to the ride, and they could reprofile parts of it too if they're concerned about that. Whilst many won't want a thing to be changed about this ride, I just have a bit of a feeling that them changing the ride to fit in with their audience could be more likely for it to reopen. You may or may not know that the Ultimate used to come with the slogan of being the T-Rex of all roller coasters, and this made me start to think that turning the top end of the theme park into some kind of Jurassic Park themed area would be really cool. Apollo could be replaced by one of those SPF drop towers that have become very popular over the past few years, and they could turn the Raptor Attack warehouse into some kind of funhouse walkthrough attraction, or maybe even drop a flat ride in there. With the dull cafe in the area refurbished, and a few new flat rides that are well themed up on the field where those go-karts used to be as well, and it could be a pretty decent themed area. Just a quick cheeky plug while we're here for the Theme Park Jack shop, where you can get 10% off if you enter the code TPJ350. Over in the School Cove area, some big TLC is needed to get the area looking somewhat good again, like it used to be when it opened in 2011. I think that they could quite easily fit a water ride and a Zamperla disco in there to replace the Black Pearl and hopefully the Rubbish Waltzer and patch a field next to it quite nicely as well. Like with an SBF drop tower, they'd be playing it very safe with the disco as they've also become very popular in recent years and it would be one of the most exciting rides in the theme park as well. And let's be honest, Lightwater Valley is now in desperate need of some of that. In terms of the water ride, they could either choose to just make it a pirate boat ride, but I think it'd be better if they actually did a log flume, and SBF make one that's very compact and self-contained, that with a custom layout they should easily be able to fit in. So while they're buying that drop tower, they can pick up one of those as well. Over where the Wild River Rapids have been removed, a whole new themed area could be built up there, and the Myths and Legends theme would be something a bit different. I'd move the chair swings up there as well, and leave that front area of the park clear as some kind of outdoor events area. Other rides like bumper boats and one of those spinning barn rides as well, but I'm sure that isn't the actual name for them. I could sit here and start saying that they should get a Zamperla Air Race as something for the thrill seekers, and a permanent roller coaster like a Vacoma suspended as well. But in the real world, fingers crossed that the Eagle's Claw stays put, and that they've changed their minds on that one as it really is a world class flat ride. But for the sake of today's video, if it does end up going, then a ferris wheel right at the top of the hill, or maybe even one of those balloon tower rides could fit in there, but Lightwater Valley just don't do it. The ride is so good, and I just don't think there's any other flat ride in that quality, in the UK at least, that comes close to it. Its sister ride Vortex at Fort Park is nowhere near as good. Don't get me wrong, I do understand that Lightwater Valley have reasons behind what they're doing, but if we look at when other theme parks have tried this method of removing every major thrill ride and throwing in a few mediocre junior rides in the past to try and increase attendance at the park, it very often doesn't pay off in the way they would have hoped. A good example for this would be the American Adventure, a theme park located in Derbyshire, where they, in the early 2000s, decided to begin closing a lot of the major rides. 
from the big log flume nightmare Niagara to the headline roller coaster of the missile, and they added a few smaller rides in replacement, including the mine train coaster that's actually now at Flamingoland. As I'm sure you can guess by now, this didn't pay off very well for them, and when all of this happened, they closed down later that year. I'm not saying that all of the circumstances here are exactly the same as they were with the American Adventure, and like Water Valley have certainly made more of the go of this change in the direction than they did, but still, I think it's a very relevant example to use for the situation that Lightwater Valley is in. In the long run, unless you start adding some really good quality new rides that are worthy replacements of what used to be there, then I have some big doubts about the future of the park. At the end of the day, a good theme park should have something for everyone, including the thrill seekers, and losing a ride like the Ultimate which has such a history and fame to it would be a massive mistake in my opinion.